in the car. Why is you letting all these extra passengers in the car? In the back, in the back of the bed, smoking the new up. Uh, in the lane with four friends and shit like, try had I put them on the radar. One thing she know is I feel we get this baby dry. I want you to be my blood. Uh, uh, you tired? Yo, punk ass up and watch this YouTube video and leave a like and subscribe. YouTube back again with another show on a banger. And today we got five ways that you mess up in a relationship. Here we go. Number one, trusting too many people. First of all, you can't be in a relationship. It's a relationship. It's the two passenger car. Why are you letting all these extra passengers in the car in the back seat of y'all car? Bro, it's too much luggage that gotta go in the back of the trunk. Now you letting the trunk open for motherfuckers that don't need to be in your car. If you get what I'm trying to say is, too many people in y'all relationship, too many friends involved. She talking to her ex, you talking to your ex, he talking to his ex, who, whomever, she or he, you feel me? It's too, too much going on, too much drama. Y'all is a relationship. Y'all gotta keep y'all business together, okay? And number two, the second way you mess up in a relationship and you let little stuff get to you. Everybody can't control their anger. Now, if you a smart person, you trying to work on your bettering yourself, okay? So loving yourself and bettering yourself. If, if you at the moment and you heated and y'all both heated, and she keep arguing back and forth or he keep arguing back and forth, bro, ignore it. Not ignore it, don't be disrespectful. Just ignore it, okay? Ignore it. Which means if they, you know, eh. You feel me? Just listen and be like, okay, you're right. Sometimes you gotta put your price tag and just be like, okay, you're right. You're right. And then, you feel me? Y'all should be good. It shouldn't be no. Then, what you mess up in a relationship is cheating. Don't be in a relationship just to cheat. I mean, I did it before. People did it to you. You probably didn't dealt with it before. But don't be in a relationship to cheat, bro. If you're in a relationship, first of all, make sure your shit is on point. Make sure you got your shit together. Make sure they got their shit together. Make sure your mental state is good. Make sure you love yourself so then you can love them. And then after you got all that shit situated, make sure you make sure you don't cheat. It's no point of cheating. I mean, if you y'all good for each other, what are you cheating for? Cheating ain't gonna do shit. If you wanna cheat, that means you don't wanna be with them. Fuck all of it. it was a mistake. You don't wanna be with that person. Alright, just move around. You don't even gotta hurt their feelings. Just don't cheat. Just be like, I'm I don't no longer want the relationship no more. I don't no longer see it working. So, you feel me? Just go your separate way. Number five. I mean, number four. You know I can't. Y'all know I can't count. Y'all know I'm slow. But no. Nah. Number four is uh all the past. If you in a relationship, don't 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 be like, oh, I don't know if I can trust you because my ex cheated on me. That ain't got nothing to do with the new person that you're trying to be in a relationship with. Your ex, what your ex did is a whole different person, a whole different zodiac sign, okay? But no, nah, a whole different person. That ain't got nothing to do with, do with the person you date right now. Okay, so leave your past in the past. Stop stop dealing all that extra stress to your relationship because you want to get mad at the past, okay? Number five, the last mistake is too much baggage and not enough lifting. So what I mean by that is you want all of this. But you not you don't have all of that. You want you okay, talk from a girl side. You feel me? You want a nigga with that nigga got a bread, nigga got a whip, nigga got everything. But on the other side, you a bitch you got no car. Bitch you thirst trap. Bitch you talk to all her exes. No offense to motherfuckers who talk to their exes, but you shouldn't do that in a relationship, okay? Talk from from the nigga side. You want a bad bitch. Bad bitch who get all them, who got all the, you feel me, who attract all the niggas. But you get mad with that boy and that bitch in the gas station with you and that nigga try to pull up on her and you feel me, get them digits. You feel me? You, you can't want that, but then get mad when, when you got bad bitch tendencies. You feel me? But, uh, nah, all jokes aside, forget all the stereotypes and all that. The, just don't, don't even want all that and you can't do the lifting. You can't. You know what come with that. So don't be mad when you get what come with that. You feel me? That's like extra for a McDouble. And you get the McDouble. And you get mad because it come with extra cheese. It's a McDouble. What you expect? You get what I'm saying? But you feel me? Make sure y'all leave a like and subscribe. Make sure y'all let me know what videos y'all want me to do. And make sure y'all get it, man. Let's go. You feel me? 
This enough show on Bro Bigger. Make sure y'all leave a like and subscribe. In the back of the bed, smoking the new uh. In the lane with four friends, this shit like Luwa. And I don't care who lost. Every bitch I had, I put them on the radar. Watch out and tell the world that I made.